Yeah, I remember the first time when we came, you came, and, and it was a terrible situation. Yeah. It was at that yeah. time, at that yeah. particular time, but we didn't think in terms. I think, well, what has uh, the national government done in reference to this? Because I think that at one, at one time, the a government was given uh, various administrations played a significant role in terms of. Well, uh, the thing is that they got the Rand White program. Okay. Uh huh. We're ready. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ron Crowder and he's given us some information in reference to the uh, status of HIV and AIDS in uh, Nashville. And uh, Mr. Crowder, I would imagine when we talk about the status of HIV and uh, AIDS in Nashville, we can generally say the uh, same thing in reference to that if this is uh, current in Nashville, that this is probably the same Absolutely. situation Absolutely. everywhere. That's why we wanted to approach it from that perspective. Well, Nashville is a little unique in that Number one, we're in the South. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it's approximately 21,000 people living with HIV in the city. Mm -hmm. About 200 people get infected each year. Mm -hmm. While HIV in Nashville is down by 30, approximately 30%, mm -hmm. and it has been over the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. We still are the 22nd city, mm -hmm. number 22 mm -hmm. in the United States with the highest uh, HIV rate. Mm -hmm. And that's due to poverty, being in the South, lack of education, mm -hmm. lack of a pro uh, appropriate health care. That's a lot of many reasons. Mm -hmm. Drug use. And, and uh, drug use is a good segment uh, segue for what I need to say now. Mm -hmm. Right now, although... Uh, Needle exchange is not um, legal in uh, Nashville. Mm -hmm. We know that needle exchange reduce HIV rates in the injection uh, drug use population. Mm -hmm. So street works, you know, uh, we just had to be proactive on that on that front. So we do provide uh, sterile syringes for people mm -hmm. who are actively using. While we don't condone drug use, mm -hmm. we do know that they're going to use drugs whether they have clean needles or not. Uh -huh. So in order to reduce HIV infection rates, we provide uh, mm -hmm. sterile syringes for people who are actively using. But we also offer them information and try to help them mm -hmm. move to uh, get into drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And we so we do that. Also the same thing with hepatitis C. Hepatitis, we have probably 50 or 60 percent hepatitis C positivity rate in our testing. Mm -hmm. Now what do you mean when you say uh, F HIV and uh, this, you've got another disease that you're... You, you, hepatitis C. Hepatitis C. Now, what is that all about? Hepatitis C is a disease that affects the uh, liver. Uh -huh. So people would have, like me, I had hepatitis C. Mm. The good thing about me, and, the, and I've just been blessed by the Lord, I was able to mm -hmm. uh, uh, stick around, or the Lord kept me living long enough mm -hmm. to see uh, uh, a medication that come through that was that people could tolerate. Mm -hmm. uh, ten, when I first came on the show, I had hepatitis C, but the only drug they had was interferon. Mm -hmm. And it was horrible. People would rather die than to take that mm -hmm. drug, and a lot of them did. Mm -hmm. But now they have a new drug on the market that clears hepatitis C mm -hmm. in 12 weeks, you take the pill for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Granted, I'm, 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 I'm still blessed because I'm a veteran, mm -hmm. but the pill cost, that 12, that 12 week supply of that drug cost $96,000. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a veteran, You're I was able, able to get it. Uh -huh. And most, a lot of people is able to get it too. One way or the yeah, other. Yeah, uh -huh. but, uh -huh. I, but there are still several people that that drug is out of range for them. Mm -hmm. But thank God that I, now I'm cured of, of, of uh, Hepatitis C. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of my friends died with hepatitis C because they had cirrhosis of the liver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But also, the other thing is, uh, uh, and we, if we can get, and and people uh, talk to me about all the time. Aren't you promoting drug use? And I say, look, mm -hmm. 
no, we're not promoting drug use because we give away clean syringes. Mm -hmm. They're going to use drugs anyway. One way or the other. Uh -huh. Whether they have to use a sterile syringe uh -huh. or whether they share a syringe with somebody else, they're going to shoot the dope. Mm -hmm. And my job is to keep them healthy long enough mm -hmm. that I can get them the help that they need mm -hmm. through drug treatment. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we do needless change. The other thing, the other, uh, and I, I was going to say, yeah, Nashville is uh, the 22nd. Mm -hmm number 22 in the country, country. Uh -huh. for HIV infection. Mm -hmm. We have approximately, I said, yeah, 21,000 people. Mm -hmm. The other thing is what's the reason we can see uh, uh, the, end. the end of AIDS mm -hmm. is because they have a, uh, a new, they have a new uh, intervention called PrEP, uh -huh. P-R-E-P, mm -hmm. and that's pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the morning after pill. Mm -hmm. So now people in high risk situations, mm -hmm. and it's particularly uh, men who have sex with men, mm -hmm. they can take a, uh, a drug called Truvada mm -hmm. and it will prevent them from getting HIV. Mm -hmm. Now, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I'm not saying, hey, you know, go out and have unprotected sex mm -hmm. or, or, you know, but what I am saying is that undetected viral load with, with PrEP, mm -hmm. that's, how, that's why we can see it now. Mm -hmm. Because people with undetectable viral load, which I am a person living with HIV and have been mm -hmm. since the 80s, mm -hmm. my viral load is undetectable so the chances of me transmitting HIV to a sexual partner mm -hmm. is slim and none. none. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I say slim and none, they done done studies and there's been no zero conversion mm -hmm. among discordant couples. That means one positive, one, one negative couple mm -hmm. uh, with, with undetectable viral load. And it, it's, it's strange that on my way here today to do this show, they was talking about organ donation mm -hmm. of people who are HIV positive. This is how we know HIV, mm -hmm. uh, the end of AIDS is near, uh -huh. because now HIV positive person can donate, donate. Uh -huh. an organ. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They can, not only can they donate an organ, they, they are now receiving organ mm -hmm. before they wouldn't even give, give a, the blood. I mean, not yeah. the blood, but a, they wouldn't even give a HIV positive mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. an organ because mm -hmm. they were like, "Oh, he got HIV, he gonna die anyway. Mm -hmm. Why would we give him an organ?" Mm -hmm. So, man, this this is really some exciting times in the HIV AIDS world. Okay, and so what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this final commercial break, uh, Brother Carl. Okay. Uh, uh, Crowder. Crowder. And then we're going to, I know, uh, <laughs> Crowder. I know. I know. <laughs> and then we're going to come back and we're going to have our final okay. segment. We'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. All of the conversations that we had with it, all you know, used to be moaning and groaning yeah, and rough yeah. and stood and yeah. telling people this and whatever and et cetera. And then you come in and announce today <laughs> that we're moving toward within the next few years. And, you know, I thought it was an eternal kind of thing. Yeah. It, it was. Yeah. It, it was, was then. At, yeah, it was. At that, at that time, time we, sure it was. The uh -huh. only hope was just try to live as long as we could, could. That's but, right. Uh -huh. but yeah, now, but now, yeah. Well, that, okay, okay. 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 Thank you. Welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Ron Crowder, and he's given us some information in reference to the uh, status of HIV and AIDS in Nashville. And I think I must say up front, uh, Mr. Crowder, that uh, the information that you have reported today is very, very positive and uh, well hoped for information because I can remember when uh, <clears throat> you came to me and, and 
dealing with the same kind of situation and it was moaning and groaning, not only in reference to what happened in Nashville, but all over the world yes. in a real yes. sense. And now you're telling us that there's a possibility that we might see the end of AIDS within the next half century, I mean, uh, half decade or so. Yes. Go on, talk about yes. it. From that yeah, Dr. Haney, you're right. You're absolutely right. We're very optimistic that the end of AIDS will occur within the next five to 10 years. We're very optimistic. Uh, that's not to say that people sh still shouldn't take the same precautions as they, as, they t as they have taken before. While, all of, while the optimism is, is good, there are some things that I'm gonna tell you that's, that's not so good. good. Mm -hmm. For example, HIV is still disproportionately uh, affects people of color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People of color who gets a, who get HIV seem to get sicker, mm -hmm. get sicker quicker, mm -hmm. and they die sooner. Mm -hmm. Now, amongst men who have sex with men, the uh, infection rate is out the roof. Mm -hmm. I mean. The CDC has, has uh, uh, gave, given statistics mm -hmm. that says one in two, mm -hmm. that's 50% of, man, uh -huh. mm -hmm. of, of men who have particularly African-American men, mm -hmm. this is African-American men, young mm -hmm. African-American men, will get it, get, uh, one in two will be infected Mm -hmm. with HIV. Now, Nashville Cares, Nashville Cares Street Works and Neighborhood Health mm -hmm. received a grant from the CDC in the amount of $3.8 million mm -hmm. over the next five years to combat HIV in the young mm -hmm. MSM, the young black MSM mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. uh, what what we plan to do with that grant is to create a one-stop shop mm -hmm. for MSMs where they can come and receive all of their services under one roof. Mm -hmm. So we are in a collaboration to make that happen. We've not yet solidified the space, mm -hmm. but we're in negotiate. Well, Nashville Cares is in negotiation mm -hmm. with uh, with the realtor now mm -hmm. to. Uh, secure the space. But we just started our second year of this grant and it's going mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, like I say, it's some exciting times now. The, 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 the federal government f finally got it right. Okay. Uh -huh. And now they uh, putting their resources mm -hmm. uh, to follow the epidemic. Uh -huh. So the epidemic is, the, the, the greatest need is in Young black MSM, so and that's where they're putting their money. MSM, what, what do you men mean? who have sex with men? men. Is that oh MSM? Men, that's that's yes, the, uh, men who have sex with men. Uh huh. Now some people think that's a derogatory term. And uh huh. Then, you know, uh, I was at, <laughs> I was at, I just left a conference in uh, Florida, the United States Conference on AIDS, mm -hmm. and they was using uh, gay and. That, that other word we used to use a long time ago. I think those words are, mm -hmm. are derogatory, queer, gay, and all mm -hmm. of that. But mm -hmm. apparently, in other cities, they think MSM is derogatory. Uh -huh. I mean, you know. And, and but, but but it's but it's a matter of uh, how, what you call it. Yeah. But in, in in a real sense, the disease itself yeah it, 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 it has been mitigated uh, yeah. in a real sense to such a point that. Uh, uh, it, 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 it is possible to think about the end of oh, yes, HIV yes, and yes. AIDS. We see it. In, it's uh -huh. in sight. It's uh -huh. really in sight. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that, that's one of the most encouraging things that I've heard about yeah. it. I didn't know that. You know, yeah. I think it's been a long time since we had a chance to talk to you about it. Yeah. But uh, the very, very thought of being, a, being able to end it. And this is not only for Nashville. We're this talking about as, uh, yes. uh, all over the world. You Absolutely. See? And I understand it has been uh, a tremendous problem in some parts of, uh, of Africa, for example. And, yes, And, and yes. other parts of, of the world. Yeah. Now, I, you know, third world countries and, and places like Africa and things, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're going to 
be on line with it ending uh -huh. like that, but whatever happens here, I'm sure we'll be it'll, it'll, it'll eventually get there uh -huh. too. Uh -huh. Because now you still have mothers breastfeeding, and you know they just don't have the the, the resources that uh -huh. we have. Uh -huh. So, but eventually it'll get yeah. there. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we uh, Nashville is doing some excellent work around uh, prevention, mm -hmm. around uh, EIS, which is Early Intervention Services, finding mm -hmm. people who are, are newly, who have HIV and don't know it, so we aggressively mm -hmm. look for those people because probably, I don't know the percentage right off the top of my head, but most of all new infections occur mm -hmm. amongst people who have HIV and mm -hmm. don't know that they have mm -hmm. it. So the, the key to ending HIV also lies in finding those people mm -hmm. who are HIV positive and don't know that they're HIV, HIV. Mm -hmm. positive. Mm -hmm. Also, finding the people who are HIV positive for whatever reason mm -hmm. who has fallen through the cracks. Okay. So what we need to do is find all of those people, get them into treatment, get them treated mm -hmm. where their viral load will be undetected and they won't be uh, at risk of transmitting the virus mm -hmm. to other people. And so that's what we're trying to and do. And then you can say that you've defeated uh, HIV and absolutely. AIDS. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. And, and, and I tell you, this is a real optimistic report for me to hear because everything good, that you've said good. up until this point has always been doom and gloom yes. in reference to it. And are you sure that a lot of folks understand that? Because I think that there are a large... Well, group. it's still people because... Just like you didn't know, mm -hmm. imagine how many other people don't know. Mm -hmm. Imagine how, it, man, we if still got people stuck. If you don't have in contact yeah. and know about the yeah. disease and discuss it, and et cetera, there's no way that you might know it. And you might have some information from long back, yeah. and that information no longer applies. Yeah. Is that, uh, that is correct. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a good statement. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is now, early detection mm -hmm. and early treatment. Mm -hmm. The sooner we can get them detected, the as soon as we can detect the disease, mm -hmm. the sooner we can get them into a treatment, that's the key. Mm -hmm. That is the key to ending this epidemic. Well, uh, Mr. Crowder, let me say, uh, we've got about a minute and a half to go mm -hmm. uh, here. And I can say one thing, that uh, the way you've been working with it and the, the efforts on the part of your organization, Streetworks, I think we can say that uh, in Nashville, I'm not sure about what it, does, it means in other places, but in Nashville, I think that you played a very significant role in helping uh, to move people toward uh, where we stand now. You and Nashville Cares and a couple of other organizations mm -hmm. uh, uh, Miss Morley's organization and the mm. women's w women with AIDS and, and the first response uh, center. Okay, uh -huh. Reverend Ed Sanders. Ed Sanders, yes, certainly. And I think that all of you played such a, an excellent role in terms of not only making us aware of it, but being out there. And and, and I know you've had fairs and they, you've been at this kind of conference and anywhere if there's a group of people in the parks or whatever. There, you and your group is. And, and yes. so I think that uh, we can.